Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, this is chapter number five, uh, deal management. Let's dive right in into my deals board. In this board, we will actually manage our deals pipeline. As you can see, I divided this group into my actual deals and all the deals that I won. And of course, you can always add more groups from here. So as we said, uh, let's recap. Once we have a qualified lead, it moves into the contact. And then the next step is me creating a new deal. So once I'm ready, I'm coming here and I'm creating a new deal. All right, let's call this deal. Uh, let's say this company that I work for is Frog Company. So I'm going to call it the Frog Deal. And let, let's go over our columns. So what do we have here? This is our sub items columns. As, you, as we mentioned before, this line over here is called an item. So the deal is an item. And I can also add sub items. Um, into my deal in the sub items. This is a great way of managing, for example, tasks. So for every deal, I can put here the different tasks that I need to do. Like, for example, call um, Dana and I don't know, send email contract and so on. So this is a nice way of using it. You can add um, columns to customize it and so on. Our next column is the owner column. So in here, I will assign the person that is responsible of this deal. Over here, I have um, what we call in Monday a connection column board, a connection boards column, sorry. And um, remember that once we qualify the lead, it created a contact. So this gives us a visualization of all our contacts in, um, in the contacts board. Okay, we have Phoenix, Liani, Madison, Elian. If we move over to the contacts, as you can see, these are the names. So it's a reflection of this column. So why do I have this connection? Because now I can easily choose um, Elian as my contact for this frog deal. And it gives me the details of Elian in just a click of a button. So I don't need to skip between boards. So once again, I click on Elian, I can see all of her information over here. Then we have the same thing with the account, but we did not create an account yet. So very easily, we will create here the name of the company that we're from. So I'm going to click frog. I'm going to add it as a new item and it's going to connect it to this company. And again, I can click on it to put all the information of the frog company. So I can put here the the company, the, the, um, the industry and so on. And again, remember, um, as I said before, we have here the list of all the companies. This is just a reflection to the accounts board. So as you can see, here are all the companies. Here's the company frog that I recently added. And also, as you can see, it's already connected to Elian with all the details that I filled out about this company. So moving back to our deals, now we have our frog deal um, with the owner, um, Dana, and we have the relevant contact and the relevant account over here. Let's talk about the other columns. What do we have here? We have a status column that represents the stage and the priority. So for example, if I sent it, um, I already sent a proposal, I'll uh, mark it like that and I can give my uh, deal a priority. Here we have interesting columns that can help us uh, uh, with insight, with forecast, and so on. Um, we have the deal length. We also have an explanation here. And this column indicates how many days have passed since the deal was added. It's a formula column that is um, calculated like this. And uh, it basically tells us um, once I added the deal, it counts how many days it's in my pipeline. As you can see, this deal was added 51 days ago. This gives us great insights on how much time um, I'm handling each deal. And we can later on do great reporting, great insights and analyze our deals per reps, how much each rep is taking uh, to close a deal and so on. Over here, we have our deal value. So once I have a new deal, I need to put in the deal value um, in this numbers column. And here we can have a closing probability column. So how likely this deal is to close. So if now I am in the stage of proposal, I think that now I have 50% uh, of closing probability. And now based on the deal value and the probability, I now have a forecast value. So it's basically calculating, um, as we saw over here, the deal value and the close probability. So we can see here the forecast is 25,000, half of 50,000. 
Here we have the expected close date. This is a nice column to say, um, when am I expecting to close this? So let's say I think that this is going to be uh, closed on December 30. And here we have the actual close date. So once we win the deal, we, uh, we can uh, put the actual close date or automatically via an automation. Um, and then we can compare between the two, like why did I expect it to close on December 30, but I actually closed it on January 10th, for example. And same goes for the actual deal value. So if I expected to close it on 50,000, at the end of the day, I closed it on 45,000, for example, I can analyze it and see, you know, how many discounts am I giving to my clients, to my deals, um, and so on. And if we want, we also have the location, we have the deal creation date, which is based automatically, and deal notes um, if relevant. And once again, if you guys think that one column um, is not relevant for you, or if you want to add more columns, please feel free. Monday is completely customizable. This is for you. It's meant to um, uh, help you and tailor made it, make it to your needs. Now, as we talked about um, the columns, I want to show you other functionalities that we have on the board. First of all, we already discussed in the last video about the Kanban view, but the Kanban view can also be helpful for you here. So again, you can move and you can see all of your open leads, move them, uh, move the statuses, negotiation, contract sent. And again, this will all be based on this stage column over here. Another functionality that I want to show you is the filter. We have um, the ability to filter by anything on your board. You have um, this, this filter, which you can say, show me everything that is in negotiation that is done by Dana, for example. And you can use our advanced filter um, to basically have more advanced functions of filtering. You can say, for example, show me everything that the owner is Dana. Or we have a really cool dynamic filter, which will always filter on the user himself. So for example, you can save this as a new view and you can call it, my deals and every rep that will go into this view will show him his deal so if dana is entering these deals it will show dana's deals if david is entering this view it will show david's deals so i hope this makes sense and we also have um, our forecast view which is our dashboard view which we can add different widgets uh, you're able to see all of the widgets here um, and add any type of reporting, any type of insight that is relevant for you. Like in here, for example, we can see our monthly forecast. Here we have the annual goal. And again, feel free to go over um, the widget center and add uh, and see what other widgets can fit your needs. So we talked about filter. We talked about the views. There's always there's an, more functionalities here that can be helpful for you, like sorting. Maybe you want to sort your board by priority. Maybe you want to pin the columns. Maybe you want to hide columns from the main view. Maybe you want to have some conditional coloring, like maybe if the deal value is, I don't know, um, above um, 100,000, then color it in red. Um, okay, as we can see here, and now it will color it in red. Another thing that I want to speak briefly is the automations. I've mentioned a few times um, um, automatic actions and automations, so I want to give a very quick explanation. And of course, you can learn more about automations and more in our knowledge base. So here we have all the automations. This is where you can see all the automations that are created already in the template. But let's go over here to, to create a new automation. The way that automations work is by triggering an action. So you can cause a trigger like one person is assigned and the action can be anything you'd like. So change the status, move to another group, um, change the date, set the date of today and so on. So we can, we can look at our many, many offered templates uh, based on the categories and you can get inspired and use this or you can use our um, custom automation and just build anything that you like. Like when this happens, then uh, do this. Um, okay, I think that's enough information for this chapter. Um, meet me in the next one where we'll look at, briefly at contact and account management and uh, the boards related to them.